so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at. I'm at a super center. But look at what it is. It's a delicious apple. I wonder how this apple got here. Every apple at the grocery store came from an apple field. First you gotta pick the perfect fruit. Like this one. This one looks really tasty. And after you pick it, you put it inside the bin with all the other apples. <laughs> Let's try and find an apple together. Hmm. Do you see an apple? Ah, oh, I see one! Yeah, look! <laughs> Yum! <laughs> it all starts by a worker hand-picking every single apple. And then, they dump their sack into the bins. And when the bin gets full, a tractor picks it up and takes it away. Now that the apples are all out of the fields and into the bins, and the bins are full, now we need to transport them to the trucks! Wow! Four giant bins full of apples! And one red tractor! Okay, the apples are now here at the semi-truck. Now we gotta load up all the bins on top of the back of the semi-truck with a forklift. are loaded on the back of the truck, so let's go! Off to the factory we go. We've arrived at the factory, so now we need to take a forklift and get every single bin off the back of the semi-truck. It is time to clean and package all of the apples. <laughs> Look, green apples. Now we need to empty the bins of all of the apples so we can clean them and package them. The apples start their floating journey, while the bins get emptied out. Look, the bins are empty. Whoa, that's a lot of floating apples. Then they get taken out of the water and scrubby dub dub, <laughs> nice and clean. And clean some more. Look at all those bristles. Those apples look like they're having fun. <laughs> and then all the apples get sprayed with some water. Nice and clean. 
and then they go through giant fans. Once the apples are all dry, they get sorted. They get sorted by the ones that look really tasty to eat and ones <laughs> that don't look tasty to eat. And remember the not so tasty looking apples? Yeah, these are them. They get to go up some fun apple escalators and then they get to go down some radical apple conveyor belts on their journey to make some tasty apple pie. But we're not done there yet. Every tasty looking apple gets a sticker. This is the sticker machine. And once every single apple has its very own sticker, they get put on what I like to call apple beds. <laughs> And then the next step is that those apple beds get put inside of cardboard boxes. And some get put inside plastic bags. Oh, looks like some of these boxes need their tops closed. Now that the apples are all clean and packaged up, we gotta store them in a giant refrigerator and wait for the trucks. <laughs> We're inside the giant refrigerator now. It is very cold in here. This is where all of the apples get stored. Wow, look at how many apples there are. That's a really tall storage building. Yippee, the semi truck is backing up to the building so it can be loaded up with a bunch of fresh apples. Alright, forklifts, just a little bit more apples. Now that the semi truck is all full of apples, it's gonna deliver them to the grocery stores. Ooh, it was sure fun seeing how apples get to the grocery store with you. And remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Woo! Mm. 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 Look at the cherries! They look so yummy! I love cherries, and cherries grow in clusters like these. Let's pull off a cluster and count how many cherries are in the cluster. Whoa! Okay, one cherry, two cherries, and three cherries. Okay, first thing you need to do 
is pull the cherries off of the tree. And then you put it in the bucket right here. And when the bucket is really full, like this, then we go to the bin oh, and pour out the cherries. Oh, whoa, there we go. Look at all those cherries. Look at all of these cherries! Now that the bins are full of cherries to the tippy tippy top, now it's time for the tractor to load up the bins. Yum! These cherries look so tasty! And these cherries are the color red! for the truck to take it to the packing facility.
the bins are full and in the factory, it's time to dump them in the water so they can get sorted and packed. Watch! So then they can go down the conveyor belt, so then they'll be nice and ready for you to eat. is a medium cherry Ooh. and the last size is a big cherry
else they're sour too If it's not too cold and not too hot I can grow all over this world we're on I just start out as a tiny seed Put me in the ground till I'm blossoming In three to four years I'll become a tree And in the summertime you get a taste of me Cherry, cherry, cherry song Everybody now cherry, cherry, cherry song Sing along, a hot fudge sundae I'm on top, I'm the best flavor of a lollipop I'm a warm and gooey and tasty treat When I'm baked in pies for you to eat I go so well in so many things From syrup to juice to the smoothie you drink And I bet you like Coke even better with me Cherry, cherry, cherry song Everybody now cherry, cherry, cherry song Sing along Yo man, cherry out I gots to go ripen Wow, look at where we are We're in the frozen food aisle in a grocery store <laughs> But look at what it is Frozen raspberries. They're so sweet and high in vitamin C. I wonder how these raspberries got here. Wow, look at all of these raspberry bushes. And all of these raspberry bushes have raspberries on them. And this is the color raspberry red. Hmm, hmm. And it's so tasty. Well, since we're picking the, these to be frozen, we pick them at the perfect ripeness. And actually, we don't pick them, we shake them off with the harvester. Wow, we're in front of the harvester. See, and deep in there, it's shaking these bars like this. And so then, the really ripe raspberries fall off into the harvester. Look! So now we're on the harvester. This is the machine that gets the raspberries off of the bush. Oh, and look at the driver. Hey guys, I'm the driver. See, and the driver operates the harvester in these things. Yeah, they're plastic bars that go up and down real quick and shakes the raspberries off of the bush. The raspberries get shaken off the bushes, they arrive on these conveyor belts. So what do you do? I would get all the raspberries and pick off the bad ones. Whoa, like, oh, like this one, right? Perfect. Okay, put that there and say goodbye to this. Bye-bye. There she goes. Picking off all the bad ones. Wow, look at him and his tray. He passes it to the girl and then she stacks them up. Good teamwork. Now that the harvester is really full, they have to pull up next to the truck and unload all of the raspberries. Now, the truck arrives to the facility, and then the raspberries get taken off the truck with a forklift. Whoa, that forklift can carry a lot of raspberries. Okay, 
So the raspberries came from the farm and got transported from a truck. And then a forklift pulled it off of the truck and loaded it up right here. And so now, all of these raspberries are going to go into this cooler. Watch this. There they go into the cooler. Wee! Bye-bye! Oh, hello. Now, this is basically a giant refrigerator. So then, the raspberries get nice and cold super quick. Look, he's wearing nice warm clothes. Wow. That's a lot of raspberries. So, what we're doing right here is we're taking a weight of these raspberries, see? Okay, now that we have them all weighed up, we bring them over here. And this is where they get loaded up. Whoa! And then they get taken to the top. Whoa! Look at those machines! They're putting the raspberries on another belt. Ooh! Then the raspberries go to the top and then this machine flips the trays and the raspberries come out of the trays. Wow, look at all the raspberries. See the trays go bye-bye. <laughs> so many conveyor belts. Wow, those look so tasty! Hello, ladies! You're doing a mighty fine job! Now this room is where the raspberries get frozen! It is so cold in here! <laughs> oh, look at them! Now, all the raspberries are frozen, so we have to put them in boxes. All perfectly weighed out. Look at that. Oh, look at all those boxes of raspberries. Wow. So the raspberries just finished getting packed up into these boxes. So then what we're doing is loading it to the back of a semi-truck. And the semi-truck is going to deliver it to the grocery store. So that's how the frozen raspberries got all the way to the grocery store. They grew on the bushes, really big and red. And then the harvester drove down the aisles of bushes and shook them off. And then they got packaged up in these plastic bags. And then they arrived here. Hey, I think we should go make a frozen raspberry smoothie together. Woo! All right, now it's time to make a raspberry smoothie and a raspberry sandwich. Yum! All right, so let's make a sandwich first. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you touch food, you have to wash your hands. Let's go wash our hands. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get your hands nice and moist. Okay, whoa. Now you have to put soap on your hands, and then you scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, but I'll tell you the correct amount of time, all right? 
you have to say blippy, 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 and then you keep going faster and faster until you can't say it anymore, all right? Ready? Blippy, 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 here we go. Let's get some bread for our sandwich. Ooh, the heel. Yum. I'll save that one for someone else though. All right. There we go. <laughs> one slice of bread, two slices of bread. All right, there you go. All right, let's uh, start out with some peanut butter. Yum! Take a big scoop. I love peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> okay, slop it around. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yum! Okay, and on this other side, we are gonna put some raspberry Jam. Mmm. This sandwich is gonna taste so good. <laughs> All right. Take a big scoop of raspberry jam. Plop it right there. <laughs> All right. Spread it around. Oh, yum. Yum. All right. Put it down. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Put the lid back on. All right, here we go. Let's cut it in half. All right. And let's cut it into quarters. Yum! Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Let's uh, put this on a plate. All right. <laughs> One, two. Three, four, oh yum. All right, you know what beverage would be so tasty with this raspberry sandwich? <sighs> yeah, a raspberry smoothie. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna teach you how to make one. First, we need to go get our milk. Hold on. Okay, so. I have almond milk and normal milk. So let's put a little bit of almond milk in here. Perfect, that looks great. And let's put a little bit of normal milk in here. Whoa. Whoa, okay, perfect. <laughs> I spilt a little, look. <laughs> That's okay, we'll clean it up after, all right? And let's take a banana. Let's actually cut it in half because that's a lot of banana. I want more raspberries than banana, but I still do like banana. Bombs away! <laughs> All right. And wait, what are we missing here? Yeah, raspberries. Okay, I need to go get them from the freezer. Frozen raspberries! I use frozen raspberries because they're really good in here because then it makes it nice and cold and then it feels like little ice chunks. <laughs> All right, okay, how do we open this? There we go. All right, the correct amount is one handful. No, it's two handfuls. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And let's add a little bit of extra almond milk. Perfect. All right, let's put the lid on. 
Give it a little shake. Yeah! Now let's blend it on up. Wow, yum! That looks so tasty! Okay, I'm gonna get a glass. Perfect, yum. All right, let's pour our sh smoothie. <sighs> yum! All right, now it's time for the raspberry song. Raspberry, ras, raspberry. Raspberry, ras, raspberry. A tiny fruit, red and sweet, called a raspberry. Raspberry, ras, raspberry. Oh, grows on a plant loved by honey bees. Raspberry, ras, raspberry. Jam, juice, and pie filling. Raspberries, ras, raspberries, oh. A frozen treat on top of your ice cream. And they're full of vitamin C. Raspberries, I think they're very, very young. Raspberries, I like them very, very much. Drink with frozen raspberries. Hey, can you spell raspberry with me? Okay, here we go. R A S P B E R R Y. You did it! Great job! Come on, everybody, sing along with me. Raspberries, I think they're very, very. Well, I sure did have a blast learning with you about how raspberries go all the way from the farm to your tummy! <laughs> well, if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. You know my name, right? Yeah, it's Blippi. Let's spell it together. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! Now you know how to say and spell my name. See you again! Bye bye Hey! hey, hey it's me, Blippi! And today we're at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California! Tanaka Farms, yeah, is a farm where you get to pick your very own fruits and vegetables! <laughs> No grocery store today. Today, you and I are at the farm. Here we go. Oh, check it out. It looks like there's a tractor and two wagons. Let's go. <laughs> Here at Tanaka Farms, you can ride the tractor on the Tanaka Farm tractor tour. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, hey, look. Hey, who hey, are you? I'm Farmer Kenny. Ooh, Farmer Kenny, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Oh, I do a little bit of everything, drive the tractor around and take you on a tour. Whoa, can we take a tour? Sure, hop on on. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm in a carrot field. All right, step on over. And you see all this green? That's the top of the carrot. Yeah, you don't eat that. The carrot is actually under the ground. That's why they call it a root vegetable. 
<laughs> okay, in order to pick a carrot, we actually need to find the carrots. So let's pull these back. Whoa, there's a lot right here. Yeah, see all this orange? Yeah, those are carrots, but they're pretty stuck under there. So let's take this giant pitchfork. Whoa, <laughs> looks like a small fork, but way bigger. And then let's loosen up the soil. Then we need to pick a carrot. Hey, here's one right here. Wow, check it out. We got a carrot. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I love carrots, they're the color orange. I love putting them in my salads, my carrot cake, even some soup. Mm, they're so yummy. And they help your eyes be able to see at night. Whoa, pretty cool. <laughs> hey, and actually there's an animal that really loves to eat carrots. Can you think of what animal that is? Huh, let's go find it. Oh, cute bunny. <laughs> Look, it's a cute bunny. Wow, this bunny's name is Andy. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if Andy wants a carrot from earlier. Here you go, Andy. Huh. Maybe Andy's not hungry. That's okay. Let's put Andy down. There you go. All right, there you go, Andy. Whoa, I love bunnies. They are so soft. Hey, this is peanut butter, and the other one, its name is jelly. Oh, here's another one. Oh, 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 oh. look at all those. Oh, hey, there you go. It's okay. Yeah. Wow, do you see this chicken? This is a modern game chicken. Yeah, and they still lay eggs, although they're really small. Yeah, look at them. Hey, you're so cute. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's put peanut butter down so then peanut butter can eat some of the mealworms. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, and come over here. <laughs> I have something to show you. Right over here, we have some eggs. Yeah, chickens lay eggs. Wow. We have one egg, two eggs, three eggs, and four eggs. These two are big eggs, and these two are small eggs. But these two weren't laid by the modern game chicken. These are still too big for those chickens. <laughs> okay, we'll put these eggs back right here. And let's go check out the chickens some more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> these chickens sure do love their snack. <laughs> You see these? These are carrots. Yeah, they're the color orange. I love the color orange. It's one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> Whoa, and these are onions. Wow, that is a big onion. <laughs> and look at these. These are also onions, but these are called green onions. Yeah, they're both onions, but they look so different. <laughs> wow. This is romaine. I love romaine, it's so healthy. I like to put it in my salads. Wow, and these are beets. Whoa, these are golden beets, and these are just beets. <laughs> oh, look, check these out. These are cute. These are radishes. Do you see the color? It's kind of like a pinkish, Red, yeah, I like that color. Wow, hey, and spinach. 
These are in a little case, a clear case. Yeah, spinach is green. A lot of these vegetables are the color green, it seems like. Well, see the radishes? Yeah, the part that you eat is the pinkish red color. But up here, this uses photosynthesis to grow the radishes. And this is the color green, but you don't need the top. <laughs> wow, kale. You should try some kale chips sometimes. Yeah, it's like normal chips, but healthier. <laughs> wow, are these drumsticks? <laughs> nope, these are sugar cane. Wow, <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> wow, Japanese eggplant. Wow, these are the color purple. It's a very dark purple. Wow, so cool and healthy. Oh, we got some green celery. We got some cauliflower. Mm. <laughs> oh, can't forget about the summer squash. Yeah. Wow. And we also have some green bell peppers. Yeah, right next to the red bell peppers. Check it out. Yeah. Red, green. Red, green. <laughs> we'll put those back just right there. And last but not least, we got some corn on the cob. I love corn. <laughs> All right, Blippi, we're here. <gasps> yes. I am so excited. Wow, I wonder what type of food this is. Okay, let's see. All right. We could go down this row right okay, here. Okay, this one? All right. Wow. What are these? Those are watermelons. Watermelons? Wow, it looks like there's two different kinds. Yeah, there's these small round ones. Those are uh, yellow watermelon. Okay. And those big oblong ones, those are red seeded watermelon. Wow, can we pick a couple? Yeah, let's find some to pick. Okay. So, uh, how about this yellow one right here? Okay. Right in the middle. This one? Yeah. Okay, how do you do it? Just go oh, ahead and hey, comes right off. Is. When it's ready, it comes right off. Wow, look at it. This watermelon is a circle or a sphere. <laughs> okay, all right. all right. Let me go, I'll go grab a red, okay. a red one. Whoa, that's a big watermelon. Wow, what shape is this? Looks like a sphere to me. Yeah, kind of like an oblong sphere <laughs> or an oval. <laughs> all right, now, can we put them down right yeah. here? Okay. Wow, these are so nice. Okay, all right. So this is a normal watermelon and we know what the color inside is, but we should just cut it open and check, Let's right? see what it looks like. Wow, yeah, green on the outside and reddish pink <laughs> red on the inside. Wow, and do you see the seeds? They're black seeds and white seeds. Whoa, okay, but since this watermelon looked a little different, what's so different about it? It just has a yellow inside flesh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because it's called a yellow watermelon. Can we cut it open? Yeah, let's cut it open and see. When they're nice and ready, they pop right open. Yeah. Whoa, I've never seen a watermelon like this before. Look, this is the color yellow. Wow. All right, let's compare them. Yellow, red. Yellow, red. Both are tasty. <laughs> wow, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm, that's sweet. I love the taste of yellow watermelon. Mmm. <laughs> What color is your favorite of watermelon? My favorite is yellow. Mm. Has a little bit different taste, but tastes really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me tell you, this tastes really good. Mm-hmm. You wanna try? <laughs> Ooh, strawberry. Mm. 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 Strawberries are so tasty. Let's go pick some more strawberries. Okay, do you see my container? This is called a clamshell container. Yeah, do you know what a clam is? 
Yeah, clam is a shellfish, and this kind of looks like it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, let's pick 20 strawberries. Whoa, that's a lot of strawberries. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, wow, eight, <laughs> nine, 10 strawberries. Okay, we're halfway there. 11, 12, minus one, 11, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost there. 18, <laughs> 19, last one, 20. 20 strawberries in our clamshell container. Good job. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow! What kind of plants are these? <laughs> I've never seen these before. Wow, look at them, they're so tall. Kind of looks like corn stalks. But I know they're not corn stalks. Wow. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> that almost hit me. <gasps> We're stopping. All right, Blippi, we're here on Sugarcane Lane. Sugarcane Lane? Did you hear that? Oh, that's what these must be. Sugar canes. Whoa. Okay. All right, Farmer Kenny. All right. What do we do now? We're gonna cut some sugar cane down. Okay. Wow. Hey, these are sugar canes. Look for a nice stock. Whoa. Whoa, that's a sharp knife. <laughs> He just chopped it down. Wow, what's sugar cane used for? You could use it just to suck on. You could use it to press it out, make juice out of it. Ooh. Cook with it. Is that what they make sugar out of? Yeah. Whoa, sugar cane makes sugar. Wow. Okay. Wow, look at that. So normally you just cut off the skin and chew on the inside. Wow. So you can chew on that right there? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Anytime you use knife, you have to be very careful, right, grown-ups? And only grown-ups can use a knife. Oh, all right. That looks so yummy. Could chew on that little end. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. I love sugar cane. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa, this is a monstrous plant. And this is actually a flower. This is a giant flower. And this flower is called a sunflower. Wow, can you tell why it's called a sunflower? Yeah, because it looks like the sun. Whoa, wow, and sunflowers produce seeds. Hmm. Hmm. yummy, seeds are really healthy. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about fruits, vegetables, seeds with you at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye. It's me, Blippi. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm painting. Yeah, I'm actually painting just a regular cardboard box. 
check it out. See, I took this cardboard box and I'm painting it. Do you know what I'm painting and making? I'm actually gonna make a lemonade stand. Yeah, I love lemonade. It's so yummy. But a lemonade stand isn't used just to drink your own lemonade. It's so then you can sell lemonade to others. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is make a very good looking lemonade stand. So then everyone will want to come try your lemonade. So now that it's all painted, I have these yellow triangle ribbons. <laughs> and if I put them on here on the top, it will spark some more customers. <laughs> okay, let's put some tape right here. There we go. Wow. All right. You see these yellow triangles? Yeah. What is the color yellow that you can think of? Lemonade! <laughs> also, the sun is the color yellow. Okay, there we go. And then we actually have a little bit more of this. Wow. Have you ever tried lemonade before? It's really tasty. It's weird because if you just eat a normal lemon, it's really sour. Oh. <laughs> but if you add a lot of water and then some sugar, it'll sweeten it right up and make a nice refreshing drink. Okay, how about right there? Whoa, it looks so good. All right, we have our lemonade stand, blue and orange, my two favorite colors. We added the yellow banners to bring in more customers, but all these customers are gonna be like, what's Blippi doing? <laughs> so we need to tell them what we're doing. We're gonna be selling lemonade, one dollar. <laughs> so let's put this right here. Perfect. How does this look? Can you tell what I'm here for? Yeah, to sell lemonade. All right, now that we built the stand, now we need to make some lemonade and then we can sell it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the first ingredient to lemonade is lemons. <laughs> there we go. So great that our friend has their very own lemon tree. That definitely saves us a lot of money when we calculate how much this lemonade cost us to make. Okay, all right, see this pitcher? We're gonna put a lot of water, sugar, lemons, and we're gonna spice it up with a little bit of raspberries to make raspberry lemonade. So the first thing that we need to do is to grab our lemons. Yeah, all right. And only grown-ups should use a knife. So we're going to first take a lemon, we're gonna cut it in half and use this device to squeeze out all of the juice. Just like this, ready? Yeah, do you see all that lemon juice down there? Okay, let's do another. There we go. Whoa, this thing is just pressing out all of the juice. <gasps> it looks so yummy. <laughs> I bet it'd be really sour though. <laughs> all right. I think that is plenty of lemon juice for our lemonade. All right, so we need to now pour this in our giant pitcher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, it has a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. Okay, so the lemons were free. So this cost us zero dollars to make. 
<laughs> we're right on track. Okay, the next thing, let's add our water. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! a perfect amount. Okay. So the lemons were free. The water was 10 cents. Yeah. And now we need to sweeten it up because this is basically just like watered down lemon juice, which would be really tart and sour. <laughs> so what we have right here is sugar. Yeah. That's a really tasty ingredient. You don't want to eat too much sugar though. But for the lemonade, we're going to add six scoops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. Here we go. <laughs> This lemonade is complete. All you really need to make lemonade are lemons, water, and sugar. But we have that extra ingredient from earlier, remember? Raspberries. Yeah, we're gonna make raspberry lemonade. But before we add those, let's calculate how much this lemonade has cost us thus far. Well, the lemons were free because we have a great friend. <laughs> the water was 10 cents. And then the sugar was 40 cents. So right now we're at 50 cents for this whole pitcher. Whoa. All right. Now we can add our raspberries. Woo. Oh, oh, that's silly. One fell out. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to just use these. Ready? Here we go. Whoa. Looks like they float. Whoa. Raspberry lemonade. <laughs> okay. So now our total cost, let's calculate. So earlier it was 50 cents and these raspberries cost me 50 cents from the grocery store. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is $1. Wow, this whole pitcher cost us $1. <laughs> All right, let's put in some ice. <laughs> to chill it down so then we can go and sell it. The ice was free because our friend also has a freezer full of ice. So now that we have nice cold lemonade, raspberry lemonade, we can go and sell it. I think there's about eight cups in here and our cost is $1. So eight cups, if we sell them for $1 would be $8. And if we minus $1, that's $7. Whoa, we're going to make $7. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We built this amazing lemonade stand. We made some tasty lemonade. Yeah, now it's time to sell some lemonade. Here we go. Lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? Oh. I'd love some lemonade. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little thirsty. Ooh, really? Well, it looks like I might have something just for you. Oh, fantastic. Here. How much is it? It is one dollar. One dollar? I got that right here. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, what kind is this? This is not normal lemonade. It is raspberry lemonade, my favorite. I can't wait to try, thank you. All right, see you later. Bye. Did you see that? You and I just made our very first lemonade sale. Good job. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about business, how to make lemonade with you, and having fun along the way. <laughs> well, time to sell some more lemonade. <laughs> lemonade, lemonade, who wants some lemonade? <laughs> yeah! Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout. Whippy!